Welcome to the Kingdom of God. They call me JC, and uh, I'm going to show you around. It's God. He's so big. From one man, God made all the nations. We're his kids, and we live inside of them. First, Adam became a living being. And last, Adam became a life-giving spirit. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever would believe in him shall not die but live forever. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. Hey guys, it's Lion from the Adams Alive for Kids YouTube channel. Today is story time. To tell our story, I'm going to be using the Kingdom Craft Texture Pack from the Minecraft Marketplace. The story is about a rich man and a poor homeless man who gets saved by God's one and only son. Hope you enjoy! Welcome! Obeying God equals eternal life. Well, nice to meet you. The Light In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, and without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Instead, they rejected him. Yet to all who accept him, to those who believe in his name, he gives the right to become children of God. John the Baptist There was a man sent from God whose name was John, and he came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light, he came only as a witness to the light. Follow the path to the, to the river to meet John the Baptist. Say sorry to God. Now, John, he wore camel skins and he liked to eat honey. And John said, Say sorry to God for the forgiveness of your sins. Prepare the way for the Lord and do good and turn from evil. Those who are not special people will become special people, and those who think they're better than everyone else will become nothing. The crooked roads shall become straight and the rough ways smooth, and all the people will see God's salvation. Follow the path. Okay, John. And I can see why he likes to eat honey, because I like to eat honey sometimes too. And the bees like the honey too. Good tree, bad tree. Obeying God equals eternal life. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What shall we do then, the crowd asked. John answered, anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none, and anyone who has food should do the same. Don't steal and don't accuse people falsely, and be happy with what God gives you. 
I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will baptize you. He will come and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His pitchfork is in his hand to gather the wheat into his barn, but he will burn up the shaft with fire. Follow the path and over the bridge to the river. So the axe is at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Hmm, Satan and the devil. Have a bath. Say sorry to God and be good, kids. That's because people have been bad and they need a bath because they've been bad. But you know, Jesus wasn't bad, but he, uh, you know, he's the Son of God, Adam, the Son of God. But he, um, he came to show us the right way. You know, to bath, have a bath and clean up our lives. And John the Baptist came to to teach us that he was this, that Jesus was the Son of God. This is the Holy Spirit that came down like a dove. The baptism and genealogy of Jesus. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. As he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven saying, You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Now, Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of King David, the son of Abraham, the son of Noah, the son of Adam, the son of God. So Jesus was thought to be the son of Joseph because he actually wasn't. See, the Holy Spirit uh, came upon Mary, who was Joseph's wife before they got married, and caused Mary to give birth to Jesus, who is the Son of God. John testified about him, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who was born after me has surpassed me because he was born before me. Well, and enter the door behind you. So, God only had one son, and that's Adam, the first man. And John, when Jesus was born, John was six months older, or something like that, maybe a year, I don't know, but he was older than Jesus. And he testified saying that Jesus was older than John. Rich man versus poor man. Hey there! There's a homeless man sleeping in my yard. Urgh. See to it that he leaves the area right away. Step one, go and see the poor man in his yard. Okay. I guess this is the poor man. The poor man Lazarus. The dog says, I lick the poor man's sores. Oh, poor guy. Poor Lazarus. He must be pretty sore. And Lazarus says, at least my dog is my, my friend. That's why he's called man's best friend. Yep. You wouldn't happen to have any extra food to eat, would you? Hey, I got 10 apples. Sure. And all he's got is a couple rotten flesh and a bone. Well, at least now you guys got a couple apples. And I guess we better watch out for the rich man because he doesn't like to share. The farm of a certain rich man had a large harvest, and he thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I'll store my extra crops. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of food to last for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be happy. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be taken from you. Who now will get what you have saved for yourself? This is how it will be for whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich towards God. Go check out the houses and the barns and then check out the well. And that must be the rich man. 
So it looks like this is the old barn that he's going to destroy. Danger. And that must be this new barn. Yeah. But it still looks like a good barn. Could still use it. He's got lots of horses and cows. Boy, he's got a lot of animals. And a lot of wheat. Look how much wheat he's got to make bread. That makes a lot of bread. Private property, stay out. Trespassers will be thrown in the jail cell. The jail cell. Jail cell. Uh-oh. So anybody who tries to trespass on the private property could you go in the jail cell. Oh. Guys, I'm in jail. Help, get me out. I don't want to go in the jail cell. But let's go inside anyways. Let's go visit the rich man. Oh, so he's got like a, he's got a, a stove and a furnace, fireplace and kitchen. Pull the switch to wash your hands. Oh, nice. And he's even got running water. Boy, you got it pretty good, Mr. Rich Man. It'd be nice if you could share some stuff with the poor man out there named Lazarus. I mean, he's got weapons and armor. Even got some enchanted apples. He's got a nice place to live. And Lazarus is sleeping out there. He could let he could give Lazarus a bedroom. This must be the rich man's bedroom. Pretty nice looking bedroom. Whoa! Look at the diamonds and the gold. And the emeralds. This guy's got a lot of money. And here's his kitchen. This is a nice house. Look at all the food. Maybe we can give some to Lazarus. Poor Lazarus doesn't have nothing to eat. Probably like that cake. Wow, look at all the food the rich man has. You know, Mr. Rich Man, you should share. Stay out. Get out of my house. This is private property. Okay. Hey, let's go give the rich, uh, let's go give Lazarus, the poor man, some food. Lazarus, we got some food for you. Now you guys got a little food to eat. Look, he's got berry patches too. He's got all kinds of berries. And a huge new barn. Llamas. Rabbits. Uh oh, he's got out. Sheep and horses. And some cows. Chickens. Lots of pigs. He even went in the pen by himself. He 
And he's got a place to sleep up here. Why, hey, why can't Lazarus sleep up here in the bed? Look at all the food this guy's got. Whoa! I'll take some apples. Cookies. Carrots. Wheat for bread. Beetroot. Potatoes. Hay bales. Well, maybe Lazarus needs some hay bales to sleep on. This is a pretty nice farm, but he's, uh, that guy's really rich and he doesn't share nothing with the poor man or the poor dog, you know? What's he got out the back? Whoa, look guys, he's got a huge garden out the back too. It's full of wheat and uh, watermelons and potatoes and beets and carrots, everything you could ever need. And more berries. Uh, this guy's not fair. He doesn't share nothing with Lazarus. Come on, guys. Let's go back over to Lazarus and give Lazarus and the homeless dogs some more food. Hey, guys. You got your whole bunch of food. Okay. I hope you're going to get well fed. There you go, guys. Have a good day. Did you check out the barns yet? Hmm, it seems like there's something at the bottom of the well. Better go down there to investigate. And don't forget to hold your breath. Something at the bottom of the well. Enchanted apple. Nice. Oh, the rich man died in hell. Uh oh. Satan, why are you in hell? Uh oh. No, we don't want to go there. The time came when the rich man died and went to hell where he was in torment. Lazarus also died and was taken by angels who carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him and said, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. Abraham said, In your lifetime you got good things while Lazarus got bad things. Now he is comforted and you are suffering. And besides all this, between us and you is a great distance so that those who want to go from here to you cannot. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not come to this place of suffering. Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will say sorry. He said to him, if they did not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Exit to the left. Well, we don't want to end up here. There's the rich man there, you know. He ended up, he didn't share with Lazarus. He was that nice, and now he's in hell. And he's not dead. He's, in, he's tortured. He's suffering down here. He didn't listen. Follow the path. Son of God. Martha, please save my brother. And Mary says, please save my brother. So they're asking the Son of God to save their brother. So on his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus 
Lazarus had died and was in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. And Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is coming to the world. When Martha's sister Mary saw Jesus, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her crying, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled and said, Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied, and Jesus wept. Jesus Christ is Lord. Son of God says, Lazarus, come out. So Jesus came to the tomb, but Mar Martha said, By this time there is a bad odor, a bad smell, for he has been there for four days. And Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe you'll see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And the dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. And Jesus said to them, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. I have come down from heaven to do the will of him who sent me, and this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Mary says, You're the Son of God. Son of God says, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus says, I'm alive. And Martha says, Lazarus is alive. So this is the tomb. So he was dead for four days. And the reason why the Son of God brought him back to life is because the rich man in hell begged Father Abraham to send Lazarus back to tell people to say sorry so that they, you know, and so that they do good. You know, it's all about loving God and loving each other. Be nice to each other and cheer and, you know, and love each other. Stop where you're going. Ah, wait a second. The king wants to speak to you. Who are you? Whoa. Where are we? This looks like the kingdom of God. And these must be the angels. These must be those who believed in Jesus and turned away from evil. And it looks like God, he likes, he likes tires. Look at them, they all have angel wings. And God, he's so big. Here's your wings. Push the button, God wants to speak to you. Hey guys, I'm God. Well, hi, God, how are you? So this is the parable of the sheep and the goats. When the Son of Man, that's the Son of God, comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne and all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, 
take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. And I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger, and invite you in, or needing clothes, and clothe you? When did we see you sick, or in prison, and go to visit you? And the king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are accursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick, or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. So whatever you do for others, guys, you do for, for God. And whatever you do not do for others, you are not doing for God. So, you know, we're all brothers and sisters on the earth. And whatever you do to help out your brothers and sisters is helping God because we're all a part of God. We all came from that one man. You know, from one man, God made all the nations. Inside of him, we live. We live inside of him, guys. In Acts chapter 17, it says so. And uh, God made all the nations from one man. And that man is Adam, the first man. And uh, we're all his kids. And, you know, the Son of God has gone up and he's up in the kingdom of God with the Father. And we can go on up to the kingdom of God with the Father too. But we have to turn... You know, we have to believe in God and we have to turn away from the evil. So, uh, let's see where this takes us now. Oh, it's time to jump. All right, let's go, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please go to AdamsLive.com and learn more about Adam, the first man who came back a second time as Jesus Christ. Uh, he is the Son of God, and I didn't learn this information from any human being, but from my near-death experience. God revealed these things to me. It's all about loving God and loving each other. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you like our channel, and I hope you subscribe. God bless.